everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I am sharing with you my uh, stamping video for October. This is using three stamp sets. We have three of them this month from our two memory keeping kits, and we have a special one that is part of our Halloween kit. So I've got some fun ideas for you. I'm going to go over inks a little bit as well. So let's dive in, and I'll show you what you can do with this month's stamps. We are going to start with the stamp set from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and that's this one, and it has this beautiful wreath on here. And before, actually, before I begin, I want to talk a little bit about inks. I usually um, just kind of dive in and, and start showing you the examples, but I wanted to talk a little bit about inks. There are a lot of different brands on the market. Um, so this is just a wide variety that I have here. I have some from the stamp market. I have Colorbox, I have Versafine, there's the Memories, and then the Stamping, um, Stamping Up brand as well. And then there's also, I have another one here from Ranger. There's, so again, there's a lot of different um, brands on the market. I like to use, uh, mostly for paper, I use dye ink. It's um, fast drying, it doesn't bleed through as bad and um, it, like I mentioned, it doesn't smear, so it dries right away, it sinks into the paper. If you use a pigment ink, it will sit on top of the paper. So usually with a pigment ink, you either need to um, emboss it or dry it, you, but you can use it on glossy surfaces. So um, I, I don't like to use pigment ink as often. I like to be able to stamp and just keep going. So I usually stick with, um, with the dye inks. And I find that there's a great range of colors with those as well. Uh, one thing I will mention is the Versafine. When I have any sort of a very fine stamping to do, an image that has a lot of very thin lines, or I want a very crisp image, Versafine is amazing. So you'll see the difference um, on some things. I'll point it out as I go. But if you ha ever have anything that's a very small or thin or detailed stamp, Versafine is amazing. Only problem that I found with Versafine is that there's not a huge range of colors. So, but it is my always my go-to uh, for black ink stamping. Um, love my uh, Versafine ink pads. So we are going to start with, as I mentioned, the Modern Memory Keeping Stamp Set. And then as we go on, you'll see me merge some of the stuff between the stamp sets. And I'm going to show you the Halloween stamp set that is in our um, Halloween add-on kit. That was a pre-order we had a couple months ago. We will have more um, that we will list just for sale. So if you missed out on the pre-order, we are going to have some that we will put in the store. But that's going to be closer to mid-month um, after we get shipping done. So... I loved this wreath. I love this wreath so much. So I went a little crazy. I used it a lot. But there's so it's such a pretty fall little wreath. And I thought there was a lot of different ways that you could layer and use it. So as you can see, I used it with a number of different things in the middle. I used the label stamp and then stamped the fall favorites inside of it for that one. Um, I did the comfy and cozy. That one is from... The, um, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Set, as is the Hello Fall. And I'll get to this one in a minute. But so you can see where I stamped them. This one, actually what I did here, I stamped it a couple times using um, the blush color and then the amber clay. Kind of, It's kind of a, a real, kind of a mix between a tan and a creamy yellow or a creamy gold. And I just layered that and stamped it a couple of times, moved it just a little bit, and made a fuller wreath out of that. And then here's an example of, so there's this Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins Please. Now this type on here is very fine and it's very small. So this goes back to what I was talking about with that Versafine. You can see the difference. And also sometimes when you have a new ink pad, it can be really juicy. And when you have a fine stamp like that, it can... And I don't mind that look. I thought it looked pretty here, but you can see where I stamped that. I had it's a new stamp pad, and you can see where it bled into the letters just a little bit. 
but you can see the difference in how crisp it is when I use the black Versify. So that's just kind of a little example. Same thing here when you see the label, you can see that second line, whereas when you stamp it with um, the more juicy, <laughs> newer stamp or different brand of ink, it's, um, it's not as crisp. And again, I don't mind that. It just depends on the look that you're going for. So again, you can see where I stamped those in the middle. And then this one here I stamped and then I used the little leaves here and I went down the side. I did that on the bottom of um, the autumn is a state of mind. I added that there. One thing I wanted to mention is this stamp. And let me find it here. This stamp set is all, or this little stamp right here with the little leaves is all one, one stamp. One of the neat things that you can do with these stamps that are kind of long and narrow is you can gently, when you put it on your, um, because you don't want to rip them, when you put it on your acrylic block, you can actually curve that a little bit. So now you can see how I curved that. And I did that and put it around this Cozy Vibes. So I was able to make it curve a little bit instead of just straight up and down. And again, you always wanna be careful with these when you peel them on and off because they, they can be when, they have, when they're long and thin like this, the connectors, they could tear. So you just wanna be kind of careful with that. But that's one of the things that you can do. You can do that if you have a long saying, you can curve it as well. So that's what I did there. I curved that and stamped it with that. And then um, another example of this autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I put that in the wreath, just different color combination. And then with those little leaves, you can make a border. Here I did it with kind of an ombre effect. Here I did it all just one color. And then the adorable coffee cup. I used that with the cozy vibes. I used it with the autumn as a state of mind. You could always take this and again, put it inside that wreath. You could add the coffee cup with the Hello Fall, with the Cozy Vibes in there as well. And um, even with this, you could move that over and stack it with that, or you could do one on each side, would be really cute as well. So then the other thing that I did, so I started to combine them, the other stamp set, this one from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, has these really fun two-step um, leaves, and I'll show you some more examples of those in just a minute. But so what I, and I loved this word circle here as well. So what I did is I stamped the wreath, then in a light kind of a blush tone, and then I stamped this circle over top in a darker color, and then I layered the two stamps in the middle. Now again, you could do this and then add another word inside. You could add the coffee cup inside. You could do a lot of other things and just keep layering and layering. And that's what we always talk about. So many fun ways to layer. So now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you some of the fun ways to use these layering. Let me scooch that up a little bit. These uh, layering leaves. So what I did, just real simple, started out with stamping that uh, circle, the words, autumn is my favorite. And I did it in a brown here and then added the little hello fall. So super simple, but I like sometimes that graphic look, the same thing here with just the coffee cup in the middle. And then this one, I layered it with just one of the layered leaves. Now the leaves, so as you can see, there's um, these just kind of look like blobs almost, and then you have the inside of the leaves. So what I did is I went through and I kind of matched them up how I liked them. And there's a lot of different ways you can match these up. So you just have to play with them a little bit. But I just kind of kept them together on the stamps, and then that way when I was stamping, I knew which ones I wanted to, um, wanted to pair up. So what you do is the part that looks like a blob, <laughs> uh, you stamp that first and you use a lighter color. So I, you can see where I made this real pretty kind of waterfall effect or like the leaves are falling down. So I stamped a bunch of them. I did all the little blobs first and then I went back and then in a darker color, I stamped the detailed part of the leaves over top. And I think this would be so pretty down the middle of a layout, um, on a card would be so pretty. And you could um, even do a whole background in this. And I used all of those pretty kind of fall tones that match uh, the colors in the kit or in the collection this month. So you can see where I did that. 
And then you can see where I did one here and then I just did it next to the comfy cozy. You can also, this little bit right here, let me turn this on, which I used in the, goes in the middle of this leaf. On its own, to me, it looks like a little piece of wheat, which is a very fall look as well. So I just used that just by itself next to the Hello Fall there. I did two of them. I stamped it this way and then turned it and stamped it the other way and put it underneath. I put um, three of them together and they just like a, look like a little wheat bunch. I thought if you um, drew a little, what looked like a little bow or a string tie would be a really cute little thing to do. And again, you can put Hello Fall next to that. You can put the Comfy Cozy. You could put any of the other sayings next to that. It would be really pretty. And then this one, just for something a little different. And again, if you had a larger page or a larger piece, you could stamp just the blobby part, <laughs> the silhouette. Silhouette sounds better than blobby part. You could just stamp just the silhouette um, doing this kind of a falling leaf effect. You could do a bunch of them straight down. And then in the middle, stamp the autumn is my favorite and then another saying. So I thought that was just kind of pretty how it kind of came in. And I always, always a good idea to stamp off of your page it kind of continues the eye when you're when you're doing a layout. So I liked that a lot as well. So that are some more of the ideas for the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping set. And along I threw in some of the, um, obviously I always like to mix the two stamp sets. So if you get our stamp subscription, which has both of these, or if you get both the um, Modern Memory Keeping Kit and the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, you'll get both of these as well. So I like to show how you can use them on their own, but then also how you can use them together because it just stretches everything so much more. And then we're gonna go on to the Halloween set, and this is so fun. And I used, um, I used just the black, my VersaFine, and then I used um, that amber clay, which is that kind of creamy yellow, um, color, kind of a goldy yellow, and then I used a mango uh, for the orange. So I just kept it to those three colors. And again, there's a lot of stamps in here that have some fine detail, so that's why I wanted to go with that nice crisp black. And so the, um, the little Halloween circle, the word saying here, circle, I stamped that. I, I could just, you could just go crazy. You could layer so much inside of that because it's a lovely graphic but simple stamp. And so you can see where I did the eat, drink, and be scary. I did the pumpkin with um, the Halloween. I did the pumpkin on his own. The go and boo with um, the bat. And honestly, I think the bat is my absolute favorite stamp in this collection. Uh, the little witch's hat with the hocus pocus. So again, you could, any of these, you could layer with that, um, that circle stamp. But then some of them I did on their own. So you did the eat, drink, and be scary. And I tucked that bat kind of in there, in that kind of spot. It kind of fit real perfect in that T. And the go and boo, I put him right under there. This one I did the pumpkin with the Halloween, but without the circle. And again, the same thing, the, the go and boo with uh, just the pumpkin. And then I did the go and boo with the, so here's, this is kind of neat. So you see the go and boo with the broomstick. You see the go and boo with the little potion bottle. And then here you see them all three together. So you see the go and boo, the potion bottle, and the broomstick. And then the bats are so fun. The bats, you could totally make a, a complete background if you wanted to. You can do a border with them. You could stagger them. Um, you could even, if you drew a circle just with light pencil, you could make them into a circle. That would be a lot of fun as well. I actually just thought of that one. That's why you don't have an example. Otherwise, I'd have done that. That would have been really neat. But yes, you could tip, you could touch their wings and make a big circle out of the bats. And then the witch's hat I did with the Halloween. I did with the um, broomstick and then the hocus pocus. I used the broomstick here with the eat, drink, and be scary. And again, you can just keep layering and layering. So here's the, the bat with the Halloween. So you could have you could have do the bat with the Halloween and the go and boo. Uh, you could do the pumpkin with the bat and the Halloween. So there's just so many options. Um, I don't like to make these videos too long, but you could just go and go and go and go. But I like to give you at least jumping off point to um, kind of get your imagination going and give you some ideas on where to begin with these. 
I'm excited about this Halloween set. This is gonna be fun. You can make some great cards with this. You could decorate your planner pages um, with this. And um, even these would be fun if you have a circle punch to punch these out and you could create die cuts with these as well for on layouts in your traveler's notebook. So many ideas. So that is the three stamp sets for this month. It is the, um, the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and our um, Halloween Special Order Kit. So this you will get in uh, the Halloween Special Order Kit. And again, uh, if you missed out on the pre-order that we had a couple months ago, don't worry, there will be some in the store probably mid-month. So mid-September, you'll find those. Just make sure you sign up for our newsletter and then uh, you'll be sure to know when they are put in the store. So that is our fall set of stamps. I hope you're excited for these and I'll see you next month. Mm -hmm.